Good morning, children. Pastor E here. Are you ready for today's video lesson? Remember to sit, sit up straight. Wait, open your eyes and your ears for today's story. Today, we will pause on our Old Testament series and have a special two-part series during this special season. Now, what special day is coming soon? Is it Children's Day, Christmas Day, or Chinese New Year? Yes, Christmas is coming soon. And what do you think Christmas is all about? Is it about Christmas trees and presents? Or is it about Santa and his reindeer? <laughs> or is it about the birth of baby Jesus? Yes, we celebrate not because of Christmas trees and presents. Neither is it about Santa and his reindeers, but about the wonderful birth of Jesus. At Christmas, we are reminded of how God became man and came down to dwell among us. And so, today, we will learn about Advent, preparing our hearts for Jesus. On the Christmas calendar, the four weeks before Christmas is called Advent. Can we say this together? One, two, three, Advent! Advent. Advent comes from a Latin word, Adventus, which means arrival or approach. And whose arrival are we waiting for? Yes, Advent is a season where we wait and prepare our hearts to celebrate the arrival of baby Jesus. Now the Bible tells us that very long ago, Many people waited for God's special promise to come. Prophets like Isaiah, Micah and Malachi talked about Jesus hundreds of years before he was born. Wow, Jesus sure was special to have prophets talk about his birth hundreds of years before. Now the last book of the Old Testament is written by the prophet Malachi. And Malachi talks about God's great love for his people. I have loved you, says the Lord. He also writes about God sending his special messenger. Behold, I am sending my messenger, the promised one, the one you have been waiting for. The Rescuer, the Messiah, He is coming, so get ready. The people of old were called to prepare themselves for Jesus' coming. And in Advent, today, we also prepare our hearts to celebrate Jesus. In the four weeks of Advent, there are four traditional themes to guide us in preparing our hearts. First, is hope. What is hope? Hope is about trusting and believing that things will happen the way they should. If our favorite toy gets lost, we hope to find it again. If we get sick, we hope to recover and be well again. Hope is a powerful thing as hope keeps us moving, looking forward to the next day. Now, our Christian hope is found in one person, someone that we can trust in good times and in bad times. Now, who can we hope in? Yes, we hope in God. We have hope because our God is good. He is faithful and He loves us very much. We find hope in Jesus because Jesus came down to save us when we cannot save ourselves. Now the second theme is way. Way means a pathway or a road. Now can you recognize the way back to your house? How about the road to church? 
a pathway helps us to go from one place to another. And Jesus tells us that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way that leads us to God. All of us are sinners and we were far away from God. But it is true Jesus and what he has done that gives us a way back to God. We walk in Jesus' way and we also invite our friends and family to join us on this way to God. We invite them to come and know about Jesus. The third theme is joy. Joy is the feeling of being very happy. To have joy is to be joyful and to rejoice. Now what makes you happy and joyful? Maybe you are joyful now when it is the holidays. Or you are joyful when your parents bring you out for a day of fun. Now the Bible tells us that our joy comes from the heart and we can be joyful in good times and also in bad times because our joy comes from knowing that Jesus came to save all of us from our sins. Jesus is the greatest gift that God gave to us and we rejoice because of Him. Paul says in Philippians, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. And so, let us be joyful, singing Christmas songs and sharing this joy we have in God with others. The fourth and final theme is peace. What is peace? Peace is being joyful, content and calm, knowing that all is well. You may feel very peaceful when you sleep in your mummy and daddy's arm. A little baby animal finds peace in their little den. And for Christians, we have peace because we know that we are safe in God's hands. Everything is under God's control and He keeps all things together. The prophet Isaiah prophesied about Jesus that he will be the Prince of Peace. Jesus came to give us peace. Peace even in a troubling world. Jesus also says in John, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. We do not need to be afraid or troubled when we have Jesus in our hearts. And so, what are we learn today? Today, we learn about Advent and about the four Advent themes that prepares us to celebrate Christmas. And what are they? Yes, hope, way, joy and peace. We learn that Jesus is my hope, my way, my joy, and my peace. Jesus is my hope, my way, my joy, and my peace. Some churches also light the Advent candles every week to prepare us for Christmas. There is also the Advent calendar that you can make to count down to Christmas. So, let us continue to prepare our hearts for Jesus. We also learn that Jesus is God's greatest gift to us. Jesus is God's greatest gift to us. And the prophets of old talked about His coming. Jesus sure was a special baby. Today's Bible verse is from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, where the prophet Isaiah talks about the coming of Jesus. He says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince 
of peace. Now, who is this child born to us? Yes, this child is Jesus. Let us read this verse again. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Do you like today's message? Let us close with a prayer. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Let us pray. And you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to come to us. I pray to put my hope in you to walk in the way of Jesus to rejoice in Jesus and to find peace in Jesus prepare my heart to celebrate your greatest gift to us Jesus Christ, my Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's all for today's story. And be sure to catch our Christmas story in 12 days' time. Blessed Advent and bye-bye.